Praise the Lord, saints. Before the choir come this morning, uh, tonight, I want to tell you about a testimony that one of our young people gave this morning. Teen Outreach, we're doing our pre-revival to our Yes Rally that's coming next month. And so we've been having uh, great men up there preaching the word. Uh, Brother Bankins preached this morning. He did a great job. Brother Chance preached last Sunday. He did an awesome job. And Brother Osborne kicked it out, and he did a great, great job. And so we're, we're, we're setting, setting the course, and we're directing them towards revival. But we had a young lady get up this morning and testify to her peers. And she simply, it wasn't a long testimony. It wasn't one where everybody jumped up and ran around the church. She simply looked at her peers and she said, y'all, they really love us. They love us. And that did, that did so much for me. So my word is be not weary in well-doing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. In Matthew 14, it talks about Jesus preaching it, and, and when he gets, gets finished, he, he tells the disciples, get in the boat and go to the other side. And the disciples, they were seasoned fishermen. They looked at the weather and, and, and the clouds, and they said, wait a minute, Jesus, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. He, and he, the Bible says that he constrained them. He said, get in the boat and go to the other side. Do what I tell you to do. So they said, okay. So they got in the boat and they started going to the other side and they get to the middle of that water. And all of a sudden this hurricane rises up. Now I'm from the south. You don't want to be in the Gulf of Mexico when a hurricane's out there. You don't want to be out there in, them, in the wind and the waves and the, and the rain and the tornadoes and, and everything that comes with a hurricane. Everything that comes with bad weather on the water. You don't want to be out there. But then all of a sudden the disciples are tossed and they're turned in the boat. Now the only problems that the disciples had at that time was the water, the wind, the rain, the waves. That was it. Whether or not they was going to drown or not. That's the only problem that they had. But all of a sudden one of them says, wait a minute. I see something out there. Is that a ghost? And he says, fear not. He says, fear not. And Peter says, Lord, if it be you, bid me come. And Jesus simply said, come. Now when he stepped out of that boat, he stepped on problem number one, the waves. He stepped on problem number two, the rain. He stepped on problem number three, the hurricane. He rose above his problem and he said, I got to get to the master. But you see, all of a sudden, that old flesh took in. And he looked over and he said, Ooh, that's a big wave coming there. I think this wave is fixing to sink this old boy. Some of you might have some problems in your life. Some of you might have some waves and some wind and some hurricanes in your life. But when Jesus tells you to come and you step out of that boat and you say, man, I can do this. I can do this. But Peter let the flesh get a hold of him. And he starts to sink. And he says all of a sudden, he says, Master, save me. And Jesus reaches down and he says, Come on, buddy. I won't let go. All right. He says, Come on, buddy. We're going to get in the boat. We're going to walk back hand in hand. We're going to walk over these problems hand in hand. Because I'm in front of you. I'm in back of you. I'm on your left and I'm on your right. If you're in your struggle and you're in the middle of your problem and then waves are tossing and turning, don't take your eyes off of the Master. Don't take your eyes off of the Master. But if you have taken your eyes off of the Master and you're sinking in your problem and you're neck deep and you're fixing to drown, all you got to do is reach up and say, Master, save me. Let's go. Woo. I won't let go.
no problem, I know that God can't solve. When I get into it, he was already involved. Oh, man. Oh. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, I will praise the Lord. 